Gifts are such a beautiful, wonderful opportunity to tell the people in our life that we love them and that we've been listening and paying attention to them, their likes, their dislikes, who they are, what they're into. However, Christmas can also be a time when clutter goes wild. It can be stressful just to receive more stuff or to have the pressure of thinking about all the stuff that you have to buy other people. So I put together a list of 20 minimal thoughtful and intentional gift ideas for the whole family that cover all different kinds of budgets. I'm also ending this video with what I got my own kid for Christmas and some of the best gifts she's ever ever received. These are things that are screen free, encourage that independent creative play, and I have found to be well worth the purchase. Let's get into it. Number one, tickets to an event. This could be a wide range of prices, but it could be like concerts, sports games, a play, you know, one of your friends, their favorite podcast that they've been listening to that they really want to see live. What I love about these is that you can really tailor it to the person. It is an extremely experience-based gift and often really sets the tone for incredible memories. The second one is tickets to a place. So maybe it's not an event, but it's tickets to amusement parks or a special museum, a play place, somewhere your kids have been wanting to go. Something that I will do as well, which I don't know what category this falls in, but I will score for deals and buy tickets for some of my family members to come and visit me because I don't live near family. Knowing that there's a trip on the horizon where we're gonna get to see each other is very special. So recently I just bought a ticket for my younger sister to come up and spend a long weekend with us. We can spend time together, we make memories together, she spends time with us, she's my best friend. I feel like it's one of those things that's so thoughtful and seems really simple, simple but goes a really long way because it's not just the actual gift you're getting, it's the experience that you are creating. Number three. Subscriptions. Today's economy, there are so many subscription based services, and you don't have to buy an open ended subscription for someone, although you can. There are so many places where you can purchase one month, two month, or the first box, second box. I have received meat box subscriptions, like a month's worth of meat from a pasture raised farm my mom has gifted me before for my birthday. There are flower box subscriptions. There are even companies that will deliver sourdough weekly to your door, offering to say, hey, I paid for a month's worth of this subscription so that you could have sourdough to your door every week or so that you could have a big box of all of these meat samples. I mean, that's, we love food. So that is something my husband and I have received that we have loved. It's consumable. It's something that's tailored to the person but it is not actually a physical thing that you are purchasing and gifting them. Number four, in a similar vibe, but memberships. This could be purchasing memberships to places like a local zoo, Arboretum, Botanical Gardens, Kids Museum, Kids Play Place, things that you could invest in either for your family, your child, or for a loved one that enables them to be able to enjoy it for a longer time than just that moment. Next category is gonna be in the service category, and these are some of my favorite gifts. Number five is gonna be you purchasing a body work session for someone, so something like a massage, or if you have a new mom in your life, covering one of their pelvic uh, physical therapy appointments, a pelvic floor PT. I have received this as a gift. It was the best gift I've ever received postpartum, <laughs> truly. Um, I don't need a lot of baby clothes, but I did need that. N did not take up any clutter, but truly benefited someone. Or things like a beauty service, like facial, mani-pedi, if someone in your life is really into that. The next one is covering the cost for a cleaner to come and deep clean someone's house for the day. I can think of so many moms that would love this gift me included. Or having a professional organizer come for the day and spend four to five hours helping people declutter and organize their things. I have so many family members that when I talk to them about like minimizing and things like that or their stress, they're like, oh my gosh, that sounds so great. I just want someone to come and help me. And a lot of people are like that. A lot of people need someone to come alongside of them to help them create a more peaceful environment, to help them go through their stuff. You can purchase a service like one this one time someone's gonna come and help you or even you could and be like on this date I'm gonna be over for six hours and we are gonna do this together and really set the tone to come alongside and help someone in that way I think would be an amazing gift the next idea is probably my favorite in the service category and that is to book a surprise photo shoot for parents family members one of my favorite ideas is if your parents are anything like mine how many of them when they have their kids and their grandkids they're like oh we don't have any nice pictures we don't have any nice pictures of all of us over christmas when everyone tends to be together everyone's dressed up schedule a photo shoot and surprise maybe the parents surprise part of the family we're gonna go and get photos done and that is so beautiful because a everyone can enjoy those everyone will have photos of the extended family together 
and B, people can choose what they want to do with those, right? So maybe someone wants to have them hung in the house. Maybe someone wants to make them into a book if they want. It is one of those gifts that I feel like is really meaningful and really thoughtful to capture uh, your family. The next idea, I don't even know what number we're on, nine, 10, are classes or online courses, cooking class, music class, an online course to something that someone's really passionate at getting better in or an online membership to a company that does virtual classes that they could kind of sit in on and learn, whether it's that they want to get better at a certain skill or, you know, they've been following this one creator and they want to take their course. Last year, I gifted my husband a single private for a golf swing coach. I couldn't even tell you what that means because his swing looked fine to me, but I spent years listening to him talk about his golf swing. He would always be saying, oh, it'd be so nice to just have someone that I could go just once and just like ask them questions and have them, you know, weigh in on it. And that's what we did. And that was an incredibly meaningful gift for him. Now I want to get into some actual physical gift ideas. Number 11, customizable gifts. I feel like we all have someone in our family who loves getting these kind of gifts. Every year I get my dad a new mug that has pictures of me, my sister, and my daughter in them. He calls us his girls and he wants it and he uses it every single day. You may not be someone that likes to receive these things, but I have found that usually there's people in their family that they wanna receive them. They wanna receive things with pictures of their grandkids on them. So I personally, just in my life, from creating content to really preferring to do my own like home decor and things like that, to making customizable gifts, I really utilize graphic design software often. And that's why I'm stoked to introduce today's sponsor, Kittle. Kittle is an intuitive and easy to use design tool that allows you to bring your creations to life, whether that's custom gifts, home decor, t-shirts, cards, you name it. They have a massive selection of templates to choose from, but personally, what I actually really appreciate about Kittle is that you can have full creative control. I love to make my own home decor for the holiday so that it's low cost and minimal and I can just cycle out through frames. I also got a head start on making our family's Christmas cards. I went to a local print shop and I spent about half the price that it would have been for me to go to an all-in-one direct service. As someone that is not very tech savvy, but is in a line of work and life where I like to be very creative, I need something that is very user-friendly that allows me to be creative, but is not super technologically stressful. And that's why I like to use Kittle. Whether you are a content creator or you're simply looking to bring more of your creativity to your home, make your own customizable gifts, Christmas cards, whatever that be, I encourage you to check out Kittle. You can sign up for free with the link in the description box below. You can also use code JessRothleyYT for 25% off your first month or year of any of the paid plans. More info in the description box below. Number 12 is homemade consumable goods. Things like homemade sourdough bread, jams, cookies. You can make like cake and cookie mixes and put them in mason jars and decorate them cutely. As well as homemade skincare products. So things like body scrubs, body butters, bath salts. Especially if you wanna be intentional but your budget's very low, I love doing homemade gifts. You could even do a few of them and put them in like a little really cute wooden basket and make a gift basket and give that to your loved ones very thoughtful, very sweet, and they're consumable, so they don't take up a lot of clutter in people's homes. Number 14, gift cards or gift certificates. Before people think that this is not intentional or personal, let me just say that there have been many times in my life, especially as a struggling student, when getting a gas um, gift card or gift card to the grocery store was an incredibly meaningful gift. I also like this because I have some people in my family that are just really struggle to like do things for themselves. And so if I get a gift certificate that is in their name, for them to do something or gift cards at somewhere where only they like to shop. They have to go and use it for themselves. It is thoughtful, I think, and extremely practical, especially depending on where in that person's like season of life that they are. Number 15 are board games. Now, though this is a physical object, I personally find it well worth taking up physical space because it is something that really encourages family togetherness, spending time together, and time off of screens. It's something to be used with other people in a way that kind of encourages that communal living. And I think that that is such a thoughtful, effective gift because the way that they're gonna enjoy it is gonna be in a sense of togetherness. In the same realm, number 16 is outdoor toys. Things that you invest in so that they spend time outside. So like sand toys or the outdoor little houses that you can build or you can purchase. Snow gloves and boots and things to make a snowman. Anything that encourages my child or my family to be outside more and enjoy whatever season that we're in to me is a worthy investment. Now for the last few, I wanna share what I got my kid for Christmas. Shockingly, 
this is the first time my husband and I will be purchasing my daughter a Christmas gift. I know. The truth is that I keep it very minimal when it comes to her toys. I find she plays better, she is less overwhelmed, and I have family members that love to give her gifts. And so instead of it being a free-for-all where they can kind of give her anything, I usually have a list of four to five things, either things that she needs for the upcoming season, boots, jackets, things like that, or things that I think that she would really enjoy or that she's found and she's like really been desiring. And I allow other family members to get them to her because it makes them really happy. And I know that they're gonna be gifting her something that I am more than willing to manage. Now, the first gift that I love, I talk about this all the time, is a Yodo Cube. This is the Yodo Cube Mini. It is a screen-free device that you can put cards in for songs, you can do audiobooks. Um, you also can do make your own cards, which is one of my favorite things, and you can create your own audios for them. So especially if you're someone, let's say your kid lives far from family like us, you can have family members record themselves reading some of your kid's favorite books and download them onto the card and then they could like read a book with Auntie Jill or something like that, which I just love. I love this thing. The next one that I love or anything that's like magnet tiles, building Lego blocks. I know that this technically has a lot of pieces, but they tend to be easy to organize because they're all generally, generally the same, something like a magnet tiles. But if pieces go missing, which inevitably they do, you can still complete the task with the child. It's not one of those things that has specific pieces or puzzles where if something's missing, the task can't be complete. Number 19, this is something we're getting her this year that I'm so excited about. And it's something I learned about in Simplicity Parenting, and that is I'm getting her a small medium box filled with things to build a dress up corner. So I'm gonna get her a few princess dresses and a couple easy to organize props. So like a feather boa and a crown. I'm a big fan of open-ended creative play. Anything that encourages her imagination, anything that encourages her to take items and put her own imagination onto them. And I remembered when I was reading that book, like I used to have one of these. I used to have a box full of princess dresses and dress up things and I used to play with that thing for hours. And so I am gifting it to her for Christmas and I'm so excited to see her reaction. I think that now that she's of the age, it's gonna be a hit. The last thing that we are getting her, which is something that she has personally asked for for a few months, is a kite. Like I said, with spending time outside, it is the perfect season. It's very windy, gonna be very windy for the next six months. I'm just really excited for going to the trail that we go walks on and going on the field and bringing her kite and teaching her how to use it. That's it. That is 20 thoughtful and minimal gift ideas for a wide variety of people in the family and budgets. I hope that this is helpful to you in the upcoming Christmas season. And ultimately, at the end of the day, one of the best things that you can gift people is your thoughtful presence. Being present when you're listening to them, being there with them, whether you can physically be there with them or if not, letting them know that you love them and that you care for them deeply. Nothing can replace that. Nothing. If you're new here, I'm Jess, and I make videos on all things minimalism, slow living, and intentional motherhood. If you're into that, I'd love to see you join our community. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.